Dozens of customers pay thousands of dollars for new windows, and they got zip. For some, it's been nine months, too. The Tarpon Springs Company, Solar Shield Windows, promised that even though they're now closed, they will take care of the customers who paid. But many say that is not happening, and that's when they knew they'd better call Bacon. Investigator Shannon Bacon joining us now, and there's a big development to this story. There is. We've been reporting about this and all the broken promises here since September, mm -hmm. but now the Florida Attorney General's office is on the case. Uh, this was a copy of their license. Carolyn and Stephen Gossman forked over $1,600 for a down payment on new windows from Solar Shield Windows. That was in June. They just heard excuses and got nothing. But they kept on telling us that the windows were made, they were in the warehouse, but come to find out the windows had never been made. They believed the company's promises until months later when they saw our Better Call Bank and report. The Tarpon Springs company had closed its doors, leaving dozens of customers in the cold. We saw your uh, thing about the company, and we said, oh, my God, I can't believe that this happened to us. Customer after customer stepped forward to complain about Solar Shield. Collectively, they paid tens of thousands of dollars, and many had nothing to show for it. I'm sad. I'm frustrated. I directed fed up customers to file complaints with Florida's Attorney General Pam Bondi, and she took notice. The company now has 34 complaints, and a spokeswoman tells me they are combing through them one by one with the top guys at the shuttered company. So, this is the new window. This is the new window. As for the Gossmans, yeah. they ended up hiring another so window company to put in their five windows, the but they window. still want their $1,600 back from Solar Shield. I don't think we'll ever see it, quite honestly. The Attorney General's office tells me they are working with the company's principals and giving them some time. Company owners Jordan Richardson and Douglas Andrasik both insist that they are working with other companies to make customers whole, but getting actual cash back will be very tough as these owners keep telling me that their accounts were overdrawn by $200,000. That's a lot of money, yeah. and it's unfortunate they may not get the money back, but you can still file a complaint with the Attorney General. How do people go about doing that? Yeah, and actually the couple that we featured in today's story, they still had not filed their complaint, mm -hmm. so now we're going to be up to 35. Minimum. Yeah, 35. So if you have a complaint to file, you can still go online and do that. And I have posted all the information to show you how to do that on my Facebook page, all so right. check that out. Thank you, Shannon. Mm -hmm. And if you have a problem that needs solving, you better call Benkin. The telephone number 1-855-BENKIN.